Sup guys, hot new here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create an iSCSI target, or in more simpler terms, uh, how to share your hard drive over iSCSI with Windows Server 2012 R2. And I'm also going to be going over throughout this video uh, some of the fixes for the completely retarded stupid bugs that Microsoft has made and yeah I know ever since Bill Gates left Microsoft completely you know it's been nothing but fucking bugs and bugs and bugs and bug after bug with Microsoft now so the fuck anywho let's move on um, first things first your server name needs to be less than 12 characters long if it is longer than that uh, you know what there's a bug right that's it's as simple as that so it won't work if your server name is longer than 12 characters long and as you can see you know I got it sort of okay this is it's bugged out again ah. oh that's the old name it okay well there's another bug that Microsoft needs to fix not as important but uh, it forced me to rename my server so blah boo so keep it less than 12 characters long uh, next things is the firewall. It doesn't automatically add these rules in, so you need to manually add these in. So simply, you know, go to your Windows firewall, hit up uh, inbound rules, and then uh, you go to the iSCSI ones. Um, blogs say that you only need th these two enabled, but just enable them. Like, why not? And, you know, better safe than sorry. And then outbound rules, you have this one here. Okay, moving on. Ta da! We go to our server manager. Um, I'm going to assume you guys know how to in add the roles. You know, it's fairly simple. Next, 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 yeah. And then I've got actually two of them installed. Um, uh, t other tutorials online will say just uh, install the iSCSI target server but then you read the description here and you're like ah oh, do I have to install it and yeah I've got both installed you may not need to but whatever better safe than sorry yeah I've barely got this thing working so then you go to your iSCSI thing if you already have drives on there you right click and create add whatever in this case you just click on this little link here. Okay, next we're here. Um, this is where some people can get into issues in this creation process because there are again a lot of bugs related to this iSCSI crap. I'll quickly show you guys the, the, the way around it so I'm just going to quickly... oh well nice that's where it goes now eh? Um, computer management. Since they move everything around for no reason, and yet they also still have the old interfaces. So, if you do have trouble, one of the solutions to bypassing whatever trouble you run into is to create a virtual hard drive first and then import it. Simple as that. Alright, moving on. Hopefully this should work for most of you. Select your server, yeti yeti. Um, your location. Uh, it's called this software since I'm going to be using it to host software. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's do two terabytes for now. Software targets. Uh, and then the access servers. These are the servers that are going to be accessing. Uh, the of course the hard drive so you want to put this IQN thing here um, yeah just add it in and then afterwards you can add in the server by IP address and MAC address um, I haven't had much you know success without the IQN so that's why I'm adding it in and here you can add in extra security probably won't need it and creates. 
and hopefully it creates without blo uh, blurting out any errors. So, and there we go. And we have hopefully <laughs> created an iSCSI target. Um, yeah, looks about right. Let's try connecting to it. Looks like it might be created. I'm not too sure. Hmm. Just gonna pause this while I set up the software on my PC. All right. Well, it turns out that Microsoft failed again, so I can't even install the software on my laptop because of some stupid other bug, which I'm really not in the mood to figure out right now. So, anywho, moving on. Um, I've gone ahead and just gone to uh, set it up for connecting from just the server itself. And well, behold, I ran into another bug. So. Uh, if you have changed your server's um, name or whatever, it added the wrong one when I set it up, so I just had to go ahead here and add uh, this one here or something. And if that fails, you can always add in the IP address of your server. So, like such, and you just can now hopefully <laughs> connect. <laughs> Oh, and we're connected. Anywho, please subscribe, and see you guys later.